Hey guys, this is John Lamore here. We are going to go over one of my favorite spells, Intervene. Um, I consider it probably one of the most important spells to learn as a warrior in PvP. And uh, here we're going to go over its importance, you know, what it is, and how to apply it in PvP today. Alright, uh, first we're going to look at Intervene right here in the spellbook. Intervene you're at a high speed towards a party or raid member, intercepting the next melee or rage attack against them, and as well as reducing the total threat by 10 percent. That last part is for PvE. This is the PvP guy for Intervene. So uh, anyway, pretty much what Intervene does is uh, you know name any spell that uh, anyone can cast, and and what I, you know what happens is. I intervene, and that spell that's cast that I have the target I intervene to, which uh, for this case would be uh, Miss Serenity up here, the top right corner of my screen, uh, that would uh, go to me instead. So I would eat this damage spell. Now, what's tricky is, besides you know damage spell, it could be you know the crap control spell, and. Uh, there are specific examples I have uh, later on in arena matches where I use intervene to sacrifice myself as a you know a crowd control dummy I guess you could say for my healer, which helps my healer along the road. Especially if it's a healer that is susceptible to uh, CC a lot, like the paladin and the rest of druid, I guess, the priest and a. You know, Shaman there. They're pretty they're pretty good right now, so you know, Paladin to Drew is in your help more. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's, let's see what uh, Intervene does here. This is what it looks like. Get some Rage here, and Defensive Slant Intervene. That's what it looks like. You see the little symbol that went on top of Mr. Rennie's head? That uh, in the case of Intervene, spell is casted upon or is on the uh, target that I intervene to. Before we get right into examples of how I use Intervene in Arena Matches, let's go over three points I consider the most important uses of Intervene. 1. It's a great use for tanking some damage for your healer. Intervene is a great way to take some of that damage training into your healer. Although it's one damage ability, it's still helpful because in the end, your healer needs all the help he or she can get, especially in sticky situations. 2. It's a great use for line of sight and getting to a target. If you need to get behind something to catch up on healing, Intervene is a great tool to make that happen as fast as possible. Your healer should be standing right on the edge of a pillar of some sort all the time. All you need to do is intervene and LOS for a little bit. Besides getting away, it's also a great tool to get to a target. If your healer is near the target you are supposed to be on in the arena match, and there are no cooldowns up to get to that target on your own, it's the perfect way to use it. Think of it as an extra charge in a way. And finally, three. It's a great use for taking CC for your healer. There is no better moment than taking than taking CC for your healer. Some abilities that are used on your healer can be sacrificed by you so they don't take the CC. This is the hardest use of energy in the master. It requires a lot of attention when you have all these other things going on in a arena match that you have to worry about on your own. If mastered, you will become a warrior that is even a larger threat in any PvP scenario. Alright guys, here are going to be some examples of me intervening during games. In this example, you're going to see me intervening hunter traps. Mr. King, trying to collect shaman here? I got it. I'm going to intervene a trap, I got you. Alright guys, there's two things to keep in mind when intervening hunter traps. One is you got to always keep your eyes on a hunter. Because that's how you're going to know if he's going to scatter the healer. You just see it like you see on the screen right here. He's scattered my healer and I'm ready to go. And two, you always have to communicate with your healer that I'm going to intervene the hunter trap. And I wish that's what I did right there. Here it comes right here. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, notice right here as they eat the trap, my intervene is still on, uh, my intervene buff is still on my healer. So the rogue here is going to try to blind my healer because the trap, because I ate the trap. And watch me eat the blind as well. Another bonus. I'm blinded. I'm blinded. I clone rogue. Clone just. I clone a shadow. He's trying to switch to me. I got it. Fair fire on rogue right now. Rooting rogue if he keeps hitting me. 
Too close, too close, too close. Hacks? Not the fear. Oh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm seeing it. Going offensive on this, uh. Oh, here. Yep. Silent shot. Bobbing your. I'm scattered. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna bob you, dude. I'm trying to bob you frenzy, still. Frenzy region, frenzy region. I'll cleanse you right here, John. That's all it is, all it is. I haven't used a single gun yet. I should be on top here. I'm gonna shield right here just, just cuz. There's a smoke bomb, right? Random smoke bomb. I don't know what his goal is on that. I'm gonna shoot it down the shot of the uh, hunter. Yeah, breaking through grounding. Putting rogue off me right now. JK, I have a trinket. Trinket this. One more bomb. I still have bark skin. I'm happy. Idiot. Thank you. Gouge. Got her. Got her, brother. Nice. Silent shot. Alright guys, now that was an example of me eating hunter traps during an arena match. Now we're just going to go to a quick clip where I eat a blind. Alright guys, uh, right here I'm going to intervene a blind. I notice the rose edging towards my healer, so I quickly react and eat the blind. Go get you, get you, get you. Got you. Thank you. Clone Shaman. Shaman's clone. Intervene a blind. No? Yeah, I'm unlocking again. That was right. a really go good down, intervene, go dude. Alright guys, those were a few short clips of interviewing and how it's used in Arena and how important it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is John the War. Thanks a lot.